Good morning. It is Saturday morning and we are up bright and early. We're getting ready to catch the Silverton Durango or Durango Silverton steam train. They say it's a must do and so it's kind of on the bucket list. So basically you ride on an old steam train that's been running since the 1800s. And so we're going to see how this is. They have a couple of different options as far as coaches and we didn't do the open air coach. We did the ones with the windows. So we'll see uh, what this event is like. It's supposed to be really beautiful, very scenic, and we're actually stopping over at Cascade Creek or something like that. Let's we'll see what this train looks like. Stay tuned. They are open air cattle cars. Are they closed? Well, the first 30 minutes was kind of miserable. It's really slow, but it was definitely well worth it. We're at the halfway point now. This is the half day trip to Cascade. We go down to the water, but yeah, it is unbelievable. Nice cold. All right, so just got done with the Durango Silverton train, and let me tell you, it was awesome. You know, the thing about it is we live in an age where it's pretty easy to reserve stuff online. We don't think about the work that went into it, but that railroad was built 140 years ago. That steam engine that we were riding in was actually refurbished in 1932, I believe. But 
Yeah, we live in an awesome age. We have air conditioning and everything else. And, you know, and that it just took you back because that was just on the side of the mountain. But if you ever have the opportunity to do it, it is definitely well worth it. No doubt about it. So that's pretty much it for today. I think we're going to do some laundry, head out tomorrow. Don't know if we're going to head out to Utah or if we're going to head up uh, north and go into Wyoming on the backside here. Not sure yet. We'll come at you tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.